Wildlife is protected here. So my manager was like, we can criminally trespass, so I would just... Uh, like it might be something. Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to catch these fish in 100 plus degree temperatures. That's Weston Smith from Dallas-Fort Worth, y'all. I'm going to be joined by Ryan Rigged this afternoon. It is about 424 p.m. on this fine Thursday afternoon and it is hot as heck. I'll tell you right now, it's 96, feels like 106. And it says partly cloudy, but I, you know, there's like not many clouds in the sky. I'm sweating here in the shade. <laughs> and and what does all this mean? It means the bass are stressing too. The water is hot and they act very finicky and do not want to bite in this midday heat. But I'm gonna show you guys how you can get them to bite and the best lures to fish in these scenarios. And for that, I have broken out somewhat of a finesse combo here. Well, it is a finesse combo. A lot of folks would throw a spinning reel in a scenario like this when you're throwing micro sized baits. But what we're gonna do today is break out the Corrado BFS. A lot of y'all have been asking so many questions about this reel and really enjoying the content with it and want more of it. It has that clicking drag. It's almost similar to fishing a spinning setup. I've got it on a 6'9 medium moderate Guggen Squad rod and I've got some light floral carbon on here. We're probably gonna drop shot today. That is what I wanna talk to you guys about. It's just a, a summer staple, right? Also winter time, just when the water's uncomfortable for these bass and they just wanna hunker down and not necessarily get out and eat. They're feeling a little bit lethargic you gotta do something that's gonna entice them to eat a meal. So that is exactly what we're gonna do today. Ryan should be here any moment. I'm gonna go ahead and probably rig up a drop shot right now. Talk a little bit about the bait itself. We're gonna make some casts at a few different ponds here in the North Dallas area, and hopefully we can get on some fish for you guys in today's episode. If not, at least provide the tips so that you can go out there knowing you've got the best shot at catching these finicky summer bass that do not wanna bite. So let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Rigged has made it on scene. Channel linked in the description. Gotta check him out, drop a sub. He's one of the few local homies we get out with on a regular basis. And now we have our drop shots set up. You'll see we have our drag and drop and green pumpkin pearl. Just a little bit of flash there to go with that natural green, as well as a one-aught wacky and drop shot hook from Carl's Bait and Tackle, the same place you can order your mystery tackle box from. And we have got some Carl's Stash drop shot weights on here. I believe this one is a quarter ounce, so we should be able to get some far cast, some good distance here. And Rigged is literally pulling up on a bird as we speak. You created an account? Oh, we had to, baby. He just yeah. created an account to rock up on the old bird for you guys. Might have to do some pond hopping on that thing. Oh my, he's gonna snap his rod. He's gonna snap his rod. Oh, he's hitting tree limbs out here. <laughs> this is funny. Anyways, we gotta get this thing in the water. We'll talk more tips as we go along. Let's hop some ponds, y'all. Zero expectations for this first spot, y'all, just because of the fact that there's almost nowhere to cast from and I've uh, we're just venturing out to some new water. So if we just jump to the next pond after like a couple casts, it is what it is. You just it. had a fish first it. cast. I lost it. I didn't have my drag set, dude. Crank that thing. Oh, it was like so loose. Jimmy sabotaged you. Dude, he told me he was gonna do that. <laughs> we go over here, but I don't got the the kicks that Ryan's rocking. I'm out here in the the blue nobles with the white sole. I don't know why I didn't bring the flip flops. That's like a traditional Western move. Oh, yep, no bulls would be gone. Ryan rigged. It's happy hour. How hot is it there? Feels like 106. Yeah, let's wait a minute or so and get a few more people on here. Oh, um, oh, I think it's... What on earth? He was grilling over there, was looking at me like, we're gonna find out. Really? <laughs> I'm a chew right now. <laughs> oh, there's a No so, fishing? Yeah, the city can find y'all like 15,000. We appreciate so. you guys Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, no yeah. worries, y'all. Wildlife is protected here. Yeah. Okay, we're we just catching a release though. We're like, no intentions of hurting fishing. anything. Yeah. That's and fine. We'll, we'll split. Especially aren't residents, my manager was like, we can criminally trespass, so I would just... Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all for being kind. Yeah, Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no fish. I'm, like, I'm not trying to do there's a fish on there's fish, there's fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was like furious there we go y'all just got done with catch co happy hour that was sick yeah. <laughs> they get all the influencers together that are kind of partnered with catch co and they're just kind of showcasing new baits talking about future trips and collaborations and projects 
as well as getting feedback from all the uh, creators that are working with them. But we are now back to fishing, y'all, and the last episode of Uncharted premieres tonight on the uh, Catchco channel. So if y'all haven't seen any of those, this California one was just insane. You guys got to go check it out. I'll leave some links in the description. We've pretty much been on that Zoom call the entire time out here, but uh, Ryan caught a fish at that apartment spot right as we got kicked out. And that's really been it because that first pond we hit was kind of no good. So I got something on here. It's a little guy. It's a micro. <laughs> Should I throw this guy out as bait? Well, we're hoping for something bigger. Try the big one. This is definitely a video that I think needed to be made because all too frequently we go out there with high expectations. We're going to hit multiple ponds. Everyone in the comments section loves to tell you, oh, fish these ponds. They're so easy. And yet we're over here rocking a four inch like finesse worm and not getting all that much action. And we're trying to key in on exactly where these bass should be. We're casting out deep, we're casting next to the flowing water, we're casting next to the grass edges. Uh, any rock that we see and identify, we're casting towards. And so with that, just know, getting out in the heat, it can be tough to catch some fish. It's funny, but we saw it at the Bassmaster Classic just recently, fishing Lake Ray Roberts. And a lot of the pros, man, not, I wouldn't say a lot, but <laughs> the pros were having days where they weren't catching much or they'd come in and weigh one or two fish. Might seem hard to imagine because this is what they're doing day in and day out, locating these fish, but it can get tough. So we've hit a few ponds. We did get the one little pan fish on the drop shot, but we're definitely shooting for a bass. Just trying to like jump between trees so I can fish from the shade as we try and find these bass. Oh, oh, just had a bite. There we go, got one. There we go, hot drop shot bite. See you bud. Oh wow, this is better, this is better. Got him. Well, 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 intermission. Let me tell you all about today's sponsor, Mystery Tackle Box, longtime supporters of us here on the Weston Smith channel. We could not be more appreciative of that, but not only that, new lures delivered to our door every single month. Perfect for whatever the occasion, ponds, lakes, creeks, you name it, they've got you hooked up. Whether you wanna go for bass, trout, you name the panfish species, you can just call it. And you're gonna get these lures shipped to you every single month. You can win prizes by tagging Mystery Tackle Box. And MTB is hooking our subs up with their first box for as low as $10. The link is in the description. Go through their code Weston at checkout and you will be given the goods. This month's box has a headhunter. I might be the luckiest MTB customer. I believe this is an accident. I got sent two of the same jig. So if we lose one, we got another. Let me know if you guys have gotten a double up on some of your baits in the past. Uh, MTB, someone was very kind over there at the warehouse. <laughs> we got some hooks to throw some of our favorite baits. Soft plastic tubes, that would have worked well on the creek. Wait till you guys see this catch at the end of today's video. It's a fight on the BFS Reel. Subscriber put us on with one of his own baits. It was sick. Get into that in just a moment though. We got some worms. You can't go wrong with a natural colored worm. I don't care where you're fishing. And we've got a Weston bait, which might be my favorite. I don't know why that would be. Top water though. Whew, we love ourselves some top water. This one actually says it's called the spot on. This powerful top water bait takes the learning curve out of walking the dog. So if you guys got this in your box this month, let me know how easy it is to walk. Hopefully you catch some bigs. And there's also tips and tricks. We've got a pamphlet in here breaking down the headhunter, a bass mobile sticker. Say what? We got the bass. I don't know if y'all have checked this thing out, but Ketchco has a bass mobile literally touring the states right now. If it's in your city, tag me on Instagram. Like DM me some pictures in front of this thing. I'm gonna try and make some reposts of y'all. Anyways, thank you so much to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. If you are ready to get out there and catch some fish on some new baits, hit up mysterytacklebox.com. We'll see you over there. Back to the video. I mean, and when I say better, he's probably like a pound, but <laughs> I don't know, it hasn't come up. I don't even know if this is a bass, to be honest. It's staying low and it's not head shaking. I think I have a catfish. This actually could be a good fish. It's just a bass. He is like a one pounder. Wait till y'all hear a fight on this reel with like a two or three or four or five pounder. It gets crazy. Drop shot, getting it done. You see how finicky they're being today, but this is one of the few things that's enticing that bite. Nice. Ryan's on, he switched it over to the drop shot. Not sure what might be in here, but I bet you it's hungry. Yep, yep, first cast in the creek. Oh wow, no way. Look at this little bass out of the creek. Exactly what we were hoping for. There we go. All right, let's let him go. Crazy catch. And that's probably the only bass that was in here. Like there's probably only a handful of fish in here, maybe a bunch of bluegill, but that was probably the only bass 
and we got him on a drop shot. All right, I think we're making a move. I've caught some good ones here. I'm gonna throw a drop shot and just see if I don't get broken off. Usually there's a, they, would they take the fountain out? Yeah, we've been lucky so far, but any day we're gonna lose a big bait. I mean, bound to happen at some point. There we go, there we go. There, oh, it's, oh my gosh. Okay, maybe this is what hit it, the hit at that last cast. We found more little ones at the spot we were supposed to find not so little ones. That's okay, that's okay. First one out of here. I lost my drop shot. You got a worm? I got a little, little, little junior. Okay. That's pretty good. I'll take, hey, I'll take. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Is it in your backpack? You gotta go run and get it. Cause I, I got stuff in the car. Them fluke meisters. Are these the guys I can grab one of these? Yeah, grab one. Appreciate that. You ever tried uh, It has the a circle dock yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. The one like right across from it that's a little smaller, I've had better luck with like the real steep hill. Yeah. My buddy went there recently and it was like way more like froggy than I've ever seen it, yeah. right? Yeah, like it has, I've never seen it like that. It looked crazy. I'm like, okay, we gotta go back. Gotta revisit the Divine, right? Do you follow Pond Boys? Yeah. He, he's always throwing the Divine swim jig and stuff. And Justin Royal, I don't know if you follow him. He fishes Lake Travis on a bass boat, but um, anyways, he's he's with Six and he throws that Divine all the time. It's so, <laughs> all right, I'll take, uh, is this just super shallow? I'll try here, I'll try here. Yeah, it don't matter. Ooh, buddy. All right, let's see what we got here. Hitting the creek. Dang, it like really opens up. I didn't think it would be this wide. A two pounder on this reel is sick because it's got that clicking drag. So it's like, this is the BFS, the finesse one. Yeah, the muscle, that one feels good. I'm, I mean, I'm constantly, if it's like a jig or a Texas rig, that's just kind of the go-to. Or like uh, the saucy swimmers, just because we try and slam the hook sets on that. So we've been throwing that on the, yeah. the heavy. And, uh, it, it's all right. But, uh... Oh. There we go. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. He's cruising. He's cruising. You hear that drag? It's probably really small. This drag is so loose. I don't know, bro. It might be something. I don't think so. It's just this reel. It's this reel. Oh, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's not bad. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay. In the creek. Jeremiah's showing us the spots on the drag and drop. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. <laughs> 10 pound floral carpet, there we go, baby. <laughs> thank you, bro. Let's see what we got here. Oh, thank you. Dude, all right. Nice. I mean, he's not the fattest bass on earth, but look, for the creeks, we'll take it. I give this thing two and a half. Let's go. Hold on. Let's get him back in the water. Big old summertime creek bass, drop shotting it up. That is what's up. Woo. Peace, buddy. Oh, that was, that was a belly flop. We might just play some music on that one. <laughs> Sick man, BFS. Never know what you got when you're using that reel. It could be one pound, it could be five. <laughs> Scream and drag. <laughs> that was funny. All right, let's try and get some more. Now I'm pumped on the creek. Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. That's micro. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have downsized. See, this is a creek fish. <laughs> This is what you expect. Dude, it's getting loud. It's sounding like top water time. All this grass is there and like, you can just Ooh, got it. <laughs> you wanna flip them or? Yep, yep. We got Tip it. Down Tip down line. We should be all right. Nothing but poison ivy out here. There you go, buddy. Well, that was number three out of the creek, y'all. It's almost sunset. We might have to wrap things up soon, but let me see if we can get one more real quick. Otherwise, we'll catch you at the car. We'll catch you at the house, something. I'll see y'all in a second. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. I'll see y'all again, I'm sure, man. I'll hit you guys up. We gotta hit those courses sometime. I'll see y'all. What a grind, Zeke. Fanny boy. What a grind today. My goodness, y'all. We made it back to the house. Holy smokes. And guess what we got for dinner? Chipotle. For real. <laughs> well deserved meal. We gave it all we had today, Ryan and I, as well as being Jeremiah and the homie dude. Thank you guys so much for putting us on in the creek. But if you guys want to know what to throw, in the summertime when they are not biting and it was a slow day for everyone we ran into on the banks you gotta break out something finesse go with something like the drop shot hopefully you enjoyed today's episode where we destroyed the creek last minute with the corrado bfs reel again you guys have been asking a lot of questions if you have more questions on that reel i didn't talk about it a whole lot i really just wanted to get out do some fishing focus on the smaller presentations that sometimes you have to bust out when it's 100 plus degrees outside luckily it came through at the end and we were able to make it back home and we're just pumped to meet some new friends catch some fish and have an absolute blast today so thank you guys so much for tuning in we got a lot more bank content 
kayak content, John boat content, and bass boat content headed your way. Let us know which one of the four you prefer. And until the next one, oh, actually, we've got some car stuff coming up. We've got some car modifications coming your way, too. So be on the lookout for that. And lastly, thank you to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's episode. If you guys have not tried Mystery Tackle Box, now is the time. As low as 10 bucks for your first box, and they're gonna put you on some fish this summer, fall, winter, spring, you name it. If you go ahead and get a year subscription, you're gonna be hooked up for the next year. It's like Christmas every single month at your door. That's all we got for you. Till the next time, peace out.